forget to share, subscribe, like, and comment. In the last video lesson, you have learned how to solve exponential equations. This time, we will be solving exponential inequalities. Before we delve into it, take note of this property. The property of exponential inequalities states that if b is greater than 1, then the exponential function y equals b to the x is increasing for all x's. This means that b to the x is less than b to the y if and only if x is less than y. Moreover, it states that if b is greater than 0 but less than 1, then the exponential function y equals b to the x is decreasing for all x's. This means that b to the x is greater than b to the y if and only if x is less than y. Example 1. Solve for x in 3 raised to the x minus 2 power is not equal to 27 to the x minus 7 power. So this is the given inequality. Just like in solving exponential equations, in solving an exponential inequality, since the unknown variable is in the numerator, then the first goal to meet is to rewrite it uh, with the same basis. In terms of 3, how will we write 27? We know that this is 3 cubed, so this part may be rewritten as 3 cubed. And then by power rule for exponents, since we have two exponents for 3 here, this will be multiplied. So 3 times x and 3 times negative 7. So the right-hand side will become 3 raised to the 3x minus 21 power. Notice that the inequality has the same or equal basis in the left and the hand in the and the right hand side of the inequality. So this time we may now equate their exponents. X minus 2 is not equal to 3x minus 21. And then by addition property of inequality, we will add negative 3x to both sides and positive 2 to both sides in order to combine like terms. So, we'll get negative 2x is not equal to negative 19. And then by applying MPI or multiplication property of inequality, we will divide both sides by negative 2 or both sides multiply both sides by negative 1 half and we'll arrive at x is not equal to 19 over 2. So, x may take any real number aside from 19 over 2. Example 2. Solve the exponential inequality 2 to the 4x power is less than 5 over 10. This is the given inequality. We are going to solve for the unknown variable exponent. Again, for us to solve an exponential inequality, we must express both sides as terms with the same basis. How will we make 5 over 10 2 or the other way around? We know that 5 over 10 when simplified is 1 half. Let us consider that. But still, 1 half is not the same as 2. But when we use the negative exponent rule, we know that this can be 2. This time, its exponent is positive 1. By using that rule, when placed in the numerator, it will become negative 1. So 2 to the negative 1. So we have 2 to the 4x is less than 2 to the negative 1. Notice that the bases are similar already. Now, according to the property of exponential inequalities, if the base is greater than 1, like this case, 2, it is greater than 1, then the function is increasing. That means when we focus on their exponents, this inequality symbol will be retained. Otherwise, we will use the opposite inequality symbol. So that means 4x is less than negative 1. The less than symbol is retained. Now, to solve 4x, we will use properties of inequality. In this case, we will use multiplication property of inequality by dividing both sides by 4 or by multiplying both sides by 1 fourth. So we will get x is less than negative 1 fourth. 
Example 3. Solve for n in 1 fourth raised to the 3n power is less than or equal to 1 over 64 to the 2n plus 1 power. Let us again copy the given. So this is the given inequality. We are going to solve for the unknown variable exponent n. So again, we must express both, both sides as terms with the same basis. 1 over 64 obviously can be expressed in terms of 1 fourth. That is, 64 is 4 cubed. 1 can also be 1 cubed. So this right-hand side will be 1 fourth to the third. Let us check. 1 cubed is still 1. 4 cubed is still 64. So we now have same basis, 1 fourth. Again, when we have two exponents, we will use the power rule for exponents. We will multiply them. So distribute 3 to each of the terms in 2n plus 1. So that will be 1 fourth to the 3n is less than or equal to 1 fourth to the 3 times 2n is 6n and 3 times positive 1 is positive 3. Now, according to the property of exponential inequalities, if the base, in this case is 1 fourth, if the base is between 0 and 1, the function is decreasing for all x. That means when we focus on the exponents, we will consider the opposite of this inequality symbol or we will flip this. So this will now become greater than or equal to when we focus on their uh, exponents. That is 3n is greater than or equal to 6n plus 3. So we may now solve for, for the variable n by using properties of inequality. So we'll first use addition property of inequality by adding negative 6n to both sides and we will get negative 3n is greater than or equal to 3. Now, let us use the multiplication property of inequality by dividing both sides by negative 3 for us to solve for n, eliminate this negative 3, or multiply both sides by negative 1 third. But we must remember that when we are using multiplication property of inequality and what we are going to multiply is a negative number or when we are going to divide a negative number to an inequality, the the inequality symbol will be reversed again or flipped. So we will go back to less than or equal to. That will be n is less than or equal to negative 1. If it happens that, it is, that this is positive, the inequality symbol will be retained. This will be greater than or equal to negative 1. I hope you have attained knowledge and skill in solving exponential inequalities with different cases. This will help you solve more and more inequalities of this type, the exponential inequalities. Until next time!